if you if you read what's the what Christ says, you know, I mean, you pay tribute to the government, and and Kent is flat out rebelling. I mean, it's sedition. It's a sedition leading a rebellion against the government, and and enough people stopped paying taxes. They stopped. They 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 did all this this kooky stuff that Kent's talking about. Where I would sit down with Joe Hogan, and uh, she would tell me, she would cry to me, talking to me about people that would call, yelling at her, saying, you know, darn your husband, you know, my my husband is now in prison because of your husband teaching him all this junk, and he hasn't paid his taxes, and blah, blah, blah. blah. So Kent Hovind is, people go, oh, he's doing so many good, great things for the Lord. Well, you know what? Yeah, God can use a jackass, okay? <laughs> they go, oh, he's doing, he's doing such great things for the Lord, but he's doing way more hurt and more harm, and people don't understand that. Here, here's, here's what's sad, tragic, is right word. When this whole thing with his wife, Joe, uh, when they were getting ready to divorce, my buddy, uh, his name's Hunter, uh, he was there, he was like a, he was a college kid that just needed money, you know, to get through college, and he ended up doing, you know, just work around the, you know, pensive, you know, the ministry, sweeping, stuff like that. Well, him and I became good friends, and him and I, when we were finding out about Joe and Kent, we were like, you know what, we got to do our Christian duty, and we need to try and help them, right? This isn't right. And so we, we went and talked with Joe about, is there anything that can be done, you know? So that, ha- we, that happened. We tried to reconcile them, and it wouldn't work. Well, when Kent was getting ready to marry Mary Toko, it was like my, I, my, wife, I, my wife and I were, like, literally on the verge just packing up and leaving anyway. Yeah. My wife, I'm walk, we're getting ready to walk away to go to the car, get stuff done, and my wife goes, sweetheart, we need to say something one more time. And I said, he's already, I said, I know Kent. His mind's already made up. That guy is going to sin. He's going to commit adultery. And there's nothing we can say. I've done it before. I've tried to tell him about it. She says, no, we need to do it one more time. And I said, okay, okay, babe. So we go. And there was one other lady that was in there, which was one of Kent Hovind's, Joe Hovind's friends. It's, I don't know her name, but she's also a witness. And God is. So I, that's why I'm telling you the truth, because I, I know that this happened. So, we get there and we tell them we're like I'm, we're like listen people love you and Joe don't do this can't don't do this tomorrow and get an apartment and woo your wife and win her back over take her on dates even if she doesn't want to go on a date first stay in that apartment either at a city nearby or down the street or something and her know you're serious and he was basically no 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 okay. So finally, we left. Let's just cut right to it. This guy plans out everything he's going to do. He's very mm-hmm. meticulous in what he does. Mm-hmm. He, 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 there's a con artist type thing he's doing. He really believes that he's a King David or some prophet in the Bible. He's a smart guy when it comes to the team. Yeah, I agree. And being cunning, right? But that's what it comes down to. 